The most used AVD experiences are for full desktops, but did you know they're not always the most efficient or secure? Remote apps only show the app window to the end user, so they're faster and safer and really need fewer resources. So that way you can get more out of each VM and save some money. Now there's been some things that really haven't worked in remote apps until now. Here's Word running as a remote app, and if I go to File and Open, I now have access to all of my OneDrive files. So I'm gonna show you how to get all of this set up and how it's gonna transform AVD forever. Now when I built my host pool, I checked right over here and made it a validation pool, and I'm also using the latest version of Windows 11 multi-session, and you can choose to add the M365 apps or not. Now, if you missed this step when you were doing the build, you can fix it by going to your host pool properties and then change it right here at any time. You also need to download the latest version of FS Logics and OneDrive, links in the video description, and we'll install those in just a minute. Now, as of today, using OneDrive with remote apps is in preview, so we're gonna need to go to the Settings app, then go to Windows Update and click over here to join the Insider program. Then click right over here to get started and then link your account. Select the dev channel and click continue. After a reboot, then go back to Windows Update and you will see the latest version downloading. Once that's complete, reboot again and you're good to go. Then come back here to the AVD portal, take a look at your pool and click over here and open your app groups. Now every pool will have a desktop app group by default, so click up here and let's add a remote app group. Give it a name, click next, and then click over here to add your apps. And I'll just pick Word from the start menu just to make it easy. Click next and then assign your user groups to the remote app group. Click next again, add that app group to the workspace. And if you skip this step, your remote apps will never be visible to the users. And this is where you add the diagnostic settings for your Log Analytics workspace and that's required to use AVD monitoring. Click next, add your tags like you always should, and then click create. Next, sign into your session host as an admin and then install the latest version of FS Logix, which is really just next, next, next. And then OneDrive needs to be installed for machines, not for users. So open an admin command prompt and type in the command OneDrive setup.exe space forward slash all users. Once that's done, open the registry and we can verify that it's installed properly by going to HKey local machine software Microsoft OneDrive. And the version key here should be set to true. To set up OneDrive silently to sign in for your users, go back up to HKey local machine software Microsoft Windows current version run add a new string called OneDrive and the value should have the path to OneDrive in quotes and then space forward slash background. And with that done, you can go and sign into your AVD client and open your remote app. You'll get a new icon in your taskbar for OneDrive and then you can just mouse over it and see that the tooltip says that it's remote. And you can click on it and open your action center and you should see any of your files here syncing. Then go into your remote app, go to file, go to open, and now you can access your files through OneDrive in your remote app. Now here are some bonus tips for OneDrive with remote apps. I already told you about silently signing in to OneDrive in the registry, but here in your Intune and GPO policies, that's where you could do that as well. But there's also allowing syncing for only a specific org which will give you some better security so they can't share your files across OneDrive to their own OneDrives. There's also files on demand, which will keep all the OneDrive files up in the cloud until the user clicks to open them. And because your AVD hosts are sitting right next to the OneDrive service, the file syncing is really fast. Then there's known folder redirection, which moves their documents, pictures, and desktop folders into OneDrive automatically. And there's lots of other ways that OneDrive can enhance your AVD experience, which you can learn about right over here. And happy learning.